I am on Patreon and Patreon is a platform where, where I will upload interesting videos where you can learn astrology and this is an exclusive Patreon only membership videos where you will get some interesting takes on Vedic astrology, some interesting learning on Vedic astrology which I can usually do not will not upload on general YouTube platform. So that will help me grow as a channel and that will help me take care of the cost of production of this YouTube channel and the other two channels that I have, Punis Astrology Hindi and Lifetime Soul. Connect with me on Patreon and we will grow and I will give you much more deep insights on Vedic Astrology and lot more secrets will be shared there. Hello Seekers, welcome to Punis Astrology, your one shop astro channel. Sun, the Karaka of Soul, the planet that represents light, the planet that is because we exist, we all are the star child and we all consume solar energy in one form of the or the other. The sun goes out from the sign of Virgo, which is the natural sixth house and goes to the sign of Libra. Libra is a zodiac sign of equality. Libra is the sign of justice, balance and Libra is controlled by Venus. Libra is also the zodiac sign which represents evening. So, Sun, when it moves in the sign of Libra, becomes debilitated. Sun represents kingdom and Libra represents democracy. And that is why when Sun enters the sign of Libra, it loses its power and it becomes, it enters the zone of debilitation. And this is what happens on 17th of October 2021. Sun has entered Libra's zodiac sign and for one month, Sun will remain debilitated and this is also the month when we celebrate Dipavali. What is this has to offer and what is the effect of Sun Transit in Libra we will discuss br briefly in this video. But before that, do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new to the channel and if you are already subscribed, do comment your views and suggestions in the comment section below. Also follow me on Instagram and Telegram where I upload reels, more fun stuff and exclusive Telegram videos and you can also follow me on Facebook for extra content on Vedic Astrology. Let's begin with Sun Transit in the sign of Libra. Sun which is the ruler of Leo zodiac sign, goes third from Leo and enters the sign of Libra. Now definitely when Sun enters Libra, it is the test of courage of the king. It is the test, true test for a true king because the third house from Leo means how a king communicates with the public, how does a king is received by the masses and whether he is a true king or just a mere dummy. So when Sun enters the sign of Libra, you will see that this becomes one of the hardest time for people who have negative Sun in, your, in their horoscope and it is a testing time for people who have a positive Sun. Libra zodiac sign is a zodiac sign of balance and equality. It is a zodiac sign that const constantly thrives to weigh out all the options. It balances both the good and the bad and it is more like attaining the, attaining the middle path. So when sun goes in this house, all the aggression of the sun, all the ego dissolves and uh, your confidence is always challenged. You are always questioned about your own belief system and you are always questioned about your own faith. And this is by the circumstance, this is by the universe. So when sun goes in Libra, you should always Always avoid any kind of unnecessary ego or pride in communicating with people, in communicating with, with your spouse, in communicating with your partners. Seventh house is also the house of marriage and relationships. It is also the house of business. So sun going in the Libra zodiac sign is actually in a way uh, good for those kind of business that involves public. It is also the good time for any kind of relationship which has decided to give up ego and attain love, attain the understanding and one who wants to understand each other. And it is a really bad time for anyone who wants to still show the pride, still show the ego, which is actually not necessary if at this point of time in their life. 
Also, when sun enters the sign of Libra, you need to observe that exactly a day later, on 18th of October, Jupiter will become direct. So, fourth from this Surya, fourth from sun, Shani and Jupiter, Saturn and Jupiter are in the one of the most positive position and this is also a niche bhanga raj yoga for Jupiter. Now, this placement of Saturn and Jupiter fourth from sun definitely tells us that lot of adjustment will happen, lot of compromises will happen in this one month, especially people with Capricorn zodiac sign, Capricorn ascendant, Libra zodiac sign or Libra ascendant. Also, people with Aries zodiac sign and Aries ascendant or Taurus and Virgo zodiac sign. In this case, in this case people will see a lot of compromise and adjustment. You will have to accept a lot of things because Saturn represents gratitude and humbleness. Jupiter represents wisdom. And these two are in the house of comfort of sun. So maybe after a lot of challenge and a lot of hard fight that you have given, one day you realize that it is not, it's not worthy to put in so much of effort and fight. And maybe accepting the situation the way it is, is good not only for you, but everyone around you. It's not wrong to apologize. It's not wrong to accept the situation. And maybe for one time, when you give up your ego, everyone will be at peace. And this peace will come through gradual understanding of life and gradual upliftment of morale. So there's no point thinking that you are low in self-confidence just because you can do something and you are unable to do or you should have done it because you are a perfectionist. But this time, things are not working in your favor. But rather, for once, if you can accept, if you can show gratitude, if you can be humble, maybe you will find true peace and happiness because true peace and happiness comes by accepting your fault and accepting your lowest weakness. Only then you will grow when sun is in Libra. That is why when sun is in Libra every year, the darkest night, which is the Amavasya of the month when Surya sun is in Libra, is, ca is considered as the day to celebrate Diwali. And because it is the darkest night, because sun is weak, because it is debilitated, and on full new moon day, there is no moon, so there is no light on that day. The light is very weak. To fight the evil, we light up the air. We light up the entire world, entire cosmos through fire, which is like a challenge to the, to the darkness, that in spite of it being the darkest night of the year, light is everywhere available because we choose to seek the path of light. So it is the time when you seek the light because this is the time when everybody is considered equal. When Sun will be in the sign of Libra, Mars will be in Virgo and Venus will be with Ketu. So this is also something that you have to observe. On the other hand, Moon will be in Pisces zodiac sign. So on the same day when uh, Sun enters the Libra zodiac sign and crosses one degree, Moon will be in Pisces and Pisces Moon means Moon will be sixth from the Sun. That means in this particular month, your mind will be more focused towards holistically healing your problems. Your mind will be more focused towards all the problems that you have in family. So people who have conflict with your father, people who have conflict with the government will actually want to resolve this issue in this time frame. And if you have issues with your father, grandfather, lineage, if there are issues related to inheritance in your family, if there are, there are fights within the family, Maybe this is the time to reconcile and maybe this is the time to rethink the relationship and maybe come to a middle ground. Venus and Ketu second from the sun also shows that you will feel sad because you are deprived of the resources. Venus will move out of the, the Scorpio zodiac sign and will move in the Sagittarius zodiac sign. So this movement of Venus in Sagittarius will be quite good for the sun, will be quite profitable for the sun because Venus is the dispositor of the sun in this particular month. Venus going in the sign of Sagittarius means no matter how conflicting the thought is, you will choose the right path. And you will be far more comfortable when you are grounded than when you are showing or displaying power, unnecessary show of power or unnecessary show of personality will actually be crushed 
by the aspect of Saturn because Saturn has a 10th aspect on Sun and on the day Sun crosses 1 degree of Libra, Saturn has 3rd aspect on the Moon also. So definitely Saturn is controlling the game here and remember Libra is a zodiac sign where Shani, Saturn gets exalted. So Sun is getting the exalted aspect of Saturn, therefore meditation, also bhajan. That means praying or remembering God is one of the key way which you can, by which you can boost your confidence, by which you can mitigate your problems and by which you can actually be at peace. Helping people, helping old people, especially old ladies, helping your mother and if you are into any kind of problem, talk to your mother or mother-like figure in your life and that will bring out wisdom and maybe you will have to listen to them once you listen to the advice of the elderly, you will see that this is the time when you get the true guidance. So this particular sun transit in the Libra is a very unique transit which will, which will make you think more towards the negative but also give you the solution in a much more practical way rather than a solution which only seems good on the paper but doesn't provide any result. Rahu being in the 8th house from the sun is also kind of a challenge to the sun that can you explore the unknown? Can you explore the darkness? So if you are practicing Tantra, you need to be very careful. And if you are practicing the, the any kind of other form of Tantra like Aghor or any kind of Siddhi, you must find a Guru. Don't try to, you know, try to experiment with these energies in this particular month. On the day of Diwali, pray to Ma Mahalakshmi. Chanting Shri Yantra Mantra and Shri Suktam will also be great for a business and for career of people. Overall, career, business and finances, especially marriage, all these issues will come to a common ground and a common understanding. If you try to force your opinion, this is a really bad month for that. In fact, next month is also bad when Sun will move in Scorpio and Sun will be with Ketu. So it is best that you remain grounded and you remain connected with the nature, go to the nature walk in the garden, go near water body and try to wake up before sunrise so that you can, you can watch the sun rise from the east and this gives you the necessary confidence. This is one way by which you can maintain a healthy lifestyle and a healthy mindset. So this was a quick analysis for sun transit in the sign of Libra. I hope you can make the best use of it and I wish you a very happy Diwali and uh, may God give you all the prosperity, health and success in your life. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, this is your host Puneet. Namaste.